All right, we are here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, first things first, change outfit. Poor guy has to go through all this with that little head wear. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Maybe no hat for now. Yo, Evo, what's up, man? Try and figure out what to wear. Should I go cowboy? Or should I go full on wizard hat? Let's try the wizard hat. I think this is interesting, you know? We gotta have a robe to match that wizard hat. Whoa. I wanna remove the. the yeah. No, 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 no. Swag, man. I haven't worn the Harry Potter, uh, sorry, I mean the Hogwarts outfit in a while, so let's do that, okay, because, you know, you gotta represent the Hogwarts outfit every once in a while. No gloves this time, alright, no gloves. Let's see some proper outfit, shall we? Uh, yes, like normal casual clothes underneath or something. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, this one is good. So we're gonna go full on st uh, student mode, right? To be honest, I didn't know that you could put up ho the hoodie. Yeah, I I learned it last session or something. Uh, oh, this is the ho Hufflepuff one. Yeah, it's nice, nice, nice. Alright. I don't know if the hat looks a bit weird, but I feel like I want to adventure every single hat as, pos as much as possible, so I get to really feel everything. So yeah, we're gonna go with it anyway. It looks like a mage anyway, so... I wear. Um, are you going Harry Potter mode, or are you going uh, blind guy? Okay, he's not blind, but you know. Mm. Let's see. I think we go Harry Potter mode. Okay. Student life. All right. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So I think one of the things I wanted to do, as well, was the talent. I haven't actually had time to do anything yet, but we're gonna start uh, by obviously doing uh, incendio this thing is like almost required right so uh, da, da, da. yeah uh accio is actually really good as well but i don't know if i want to actually these three are really good five required level okay uh Defendo cast slices through impacted enemies to strike additional target. That's Defendo. Oh, I don't have that. Bombarda. Oh, wow. Bombarda is awesome. That's another one called Descendo as well. Oh my god, that's so cool. What's the last one? Uh, last one is Transformation Spell. All right. <clears throat> I think we're going to go with the Akio and Mastery and stuff because when you bring them together, then you use the, uh, this thing, right? And then Levioso is kind of important as well, I feel. Alright, so 11 more to go. Let's go with the Dark Arts. Uh, disarming Curse. I think Curses are quite important. Ooh, I like this one. Avad Avada Kedavra. There we go. That's the one we're looking for. Um, Let's see here. Espeliomus has the same effect as a Curse on enemy. Curse enemy take increased damage. I feel like this one is actually quite important as well. Stupefy, uh, what's this? Has same effect on curse as enemy. Curse enemy take increased damage. So if I parry, I can curse someone. So I think that one is quite important. Oh, don't cost one point. I know, I know. Uh, this one is blood curse. Dealing damage to curse target, inflict damage to all curse. Wait, wait, what's this? Dealing damage to a curse target, inflicts damage to all curse. Oh, this is like a AOE kind of thing. So knockback curse, uh, must be able to cast flippendo for this. All right. Uh, I think I want to do the, the stupefy one because if you like uh, parry and stuff, it might be important. And obviously, uh, expelliarmus is good, but maybe not for now. I'm not fully knowledgeable on the dark art branch. I think uh, the dark art branch right is basically to cast a curse right so when you cast a curse that little symbol there that one means that you're able to do things with people with that curse status right so yeah um arresto momento has the same effect as curse on enemies so okay 
Enduring Curse, wow. All right. Anyway, I think we'll do more Dark Arts a bit later on, but for the time being, I want my potions first. Uh, we're going to potency. What the heck? Are you seeing this? This is not just... Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? Is the HDMI cable broken or something? <laughs> what? What's happening? What the heck? What is- <laughs> Did I break the game? Yo, 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 did I just break the game? What the hell's happening? Bro, what the heck? Okay, we're gonna restart that part. What the heck was that? There we go. Dude, that was so that was so weird. <laughs> okay, we're gonna uh, get Wigan well, obviously. All right. And okay, stupefy. I think I only put one for now because I really don't know what else I might need. Right. Okay, so I think this one is a bit interesting. I was I was thinking about it when I was at work today. I wasn't quite sure if I needed, like new set of spells added. This one is kind of like you have different formations of spells. It's probably good if you have like a lot of spells that you want to put together. So maybe for time being, I'll need just one because I don't have that many spells anyway. But later on, we might need to unlock it. So I think for time being, we don't unlock it yet because what I have right now is good enough. So I think I like this one. Holding down dodge allow you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. I like that one. Okay, then Protego Absorption. So what's this? Ancient magic throw catches throw disarm enemy weapons. Okay. Uh, Protego Absorption. Tessary Protego blocks will contribute to ancient magic meter. I like this one. This one means that you can really like get a lot of uh, this one. Basic cast mastery. Basic cast impact reduce spell cooldowns. Yeah, obviously. Revealio Mastery. Increased range of Revealio. I don't think this is super important right now. I will need it later, but maybe for the time being, I still have six more points, so I want to really, really... Cast... Basic Cast Airborne Absorption. Uh, basic Cast Impacts on Airborne Magic contribute more to Ancient Magic Meter. Oh, okay. Well, I did have that one where the... The well, I don't know. Maybe I should think about it. Blocking the spell with perfect protego will send two projectiles back at enemy. Maybe I'll keep that a bit later. Evasion, evasion is a bit later as well. Uh, stupefy mastery. What's this? Enemy stuck, struck by stupefy remains stunned for a longer period of time. A bit later too. Uh, potency for wing well a bit later. Okay, stealth. Overall, all these are all good. I know, I know, they're actually really good. I. Ay man, damn. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Enemy ability to detect you reduce. Uh, I actually never used stealth in this game yet. I feel like I'm more of a stealth player than uh, like a God of War player. I love stealth mission stuff. Like you can kill people so easily with this. Uh, but do I need it? You know? Do I really, really need it? That's the question. Probably. I know there's gonna be quests where we need it, you know. Kinda short, what do you mean by short? Okay, room of requirement, what's this? Uh, oh, uh, wow, that's kinda interesting. Chinese chomping cabbage get a second cabbage generated and released at no cost, damn. Uh, invisible potion potency. You only have four upgrade. Others are double digits. All oh, right. It Eudorus potion makes it invulnerable and deflect projectile back at enemy. I feel like this one is actually very important. Like I feel like late game this would be very important. So I, I'm going to put it anyway. Uh, this one undetect for last longer period. This one not so important right now. Okay, I think stealth will probably do it anyway because later on we have Petrificus Totalis which we will require 
So that's kind of cool. Oh wow, you can actually... Wow, I like that. Okay, we, we, we'll do this one. I'm more of a stealth person, okay? So I like to run around and like kill people and stuff. Okay, two more talents. Uh, let's work on uh, spells I already done. I think right now I have two more talents so I'm just going to keep it for later because I don't think I'm going to spend it on any of these. Uh, curse remain... Effect remain on enemy for a longer period of time. I, I don't know what's that going to do. Yeah, I think I'll just keep this thing. What I'm very happy about is this. Incendium. Yep. I like the Incendio one. I like the Accio. And I like the, the Levioso one. Because the fact that I can do it on multiple po uh, people. I was going to say multiple people. I don't know why. Uh, makes it even... Ooh. Ooh. Where is it? Hold on, there's something up there. Why didn't I get it? Okay, we gotta get a key out here. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. My bad. There's something on that side. Ah, here it is. Hello. <laughs> it's been a tiring day at work, so... Alright. I'm just going to spam X right now. Because I know that after a while, it will start to move after it... See? I knew it! Every time when I hit it like two times or something like that, I knew it was going to jump already. <laughs> it's like I kind of have an idea how it works or how it moves, so yeah. Revelio. Okay, more Leviosa shit. Alright, not important right now. Is that another key? Oh, there's another key. What the heck? Bro, don't you get out of my sight. Don't you get out of my sight. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Urn of Ashes. This particular urn is rumored to have once born the inscription Pioneer of the tame Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian horn tail. Ooh. Ravioli that dragon downstairs. Oh, okay. All right. Alright, spam, spam, spam X, spam X. Okay, it's gonna move, alright. It's gonna move. There we go, I knew it! Alright. There's a... Alright, hello dragon. There we go. Sleeping Dragon Statue, Hogwarts Motto, Draco Dormion Nunquam Titilandus. Wow. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. You know, I read about how Peeves loves to tickle dragons, right? Yeah. Peeves loves to tickle dragons, apparently. Rebellion. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Anything else here? Nope. Hey, there's another key up there. <gasps> there's another key up there. All right, all right. This is great. Like, just by coming here, I already can access three keys. This is awesome possum stuff, guys. Another key. Let's go. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Upstairs? There it is. Cool. Just like that, I got three already. I like that. 
I think the last I remember I needed eight more. So this means I have five more to go. Okay. After you hit two times, it's gonna move and bound. Rebellion. Okay, there's something in this room for sure. Uh what the hell is this place? Fro oh, it's a choir room! Okay. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh man, not this guy again. Imagine you had to slap your house key to enter your home. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I swear if that really happens, what's gonna happen is that people are gonna think that this is some kind of kinky shit, you know. Revelio. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here, so let's go. I've never been to this site before, so this is very new territory right now. <laughs> there we go. Alright, something else is here. Um. Lumos. Okay. So this one has a little sphinx-like character mm. and a plant. Okay, sphinx-like character and a plant. Where do you think it could be? I don't think it's upstairs because, uh, as you can see, upstairs doesn't really have any sphinx-like thing and a plant on top of that. Hey, what's up, eighty-eight? Mm. At least the doors are locked, don't say anything while you slap them. Hmm? Wait, that one's locked? Wait, you're telling me that this Sphinx one is locked right now? Oh. Revelio. Oh, okay. We're over here. Alright. What is this room here? I feel like there's something here. Level 1 lock. There it is. Revelio. History and magic. Yeah, I'm guessing that too. Yep, history and magic windows. There we go. It's behind a locked door. Try it later. Spend an hour looking for... Oh, man. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll check it out again later. <coughs> All right, so, um, what's the next quest? Actually, I kind of forgot. Today's flying class. Oh, we're gonna fly a broom. All right, um, but first things first. Acquire and use focus potion. Acquire maximum endurance potion. Use them, this thing. We can learn the pulse. I think I want to learn the pulse first before we do flying class. All right. So, with that said, we are going to what's this secret room? It's a secret room, guys. Alright. Obviously, I will do the secret room a little bit later, but... In the meantime... Wait, what's the quest again? It says that acquire and use focus potion, acquire maximum endurance potion, and use them simultaneously. Oh, so technically, I can actually... Use it now. I need a focus potion, maxima and endurance potion. Okay, you know what that means? I have to uh, go somewhere. Wait, I have I have it in my inventory, right? Uh, how can I see what potions do I have, though? Ah, I think it's this one. 
Um, I have one Thunder Brew. I have one Invisibility Potion. I have one Max, two Maxima Potion. I have Uterus Potion, and I think I need one more Focus Potion. Here, I need to. Oh, I gotta buy the recipe first. Okay, all right. Recipe it is. Let's go. I break the game. What do you mean? Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have I, a good look around. I need. I need. Um, let's see. I already have Maxima Focus Potion. There it is. A wise decision. Thank you. I haven't been brewing any potions yet. Um, so yeah. Should I, I hope to see you again. Should I use it now? now? Or should I use it when I'm in battle or something? I feel like I should benefit from using it in battle, right? Is there any quest I can do while wait, doing that potion as well? Uh, use the map for floating candles to find the treasure. Oh man, not this again. Okay, I gotta use focus potion and then stuff. All right. Is there any quest I can do here? No idea how that happened first time seeing it. Yeah, me too. I have no idea how that happened as well. Okay, you know what? Uh, we can go check out this. We can go check out the spider lair since you know we have to go check out the bandit camp anyway. Yeah. And we gotta use the focus potion and whatnot. More spiders. Uh yeah. Probably should I wait until daytime though. Oh well. Um Let's get this over with, shall we? Protega, Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on? Okay. Uh, let's see. This is Uter... Focus Potion. Release to equip. Ah, okay. So... If I... And then there is a... Uh, I'm still learning how to use these things, so... Uh, Maxima Potion. I have to use the Maxima and... Wait, what's the... Damn it. I keep forgetting. Use Maxima and Eude Eudurus Potion together. Okay, never mind. Accio. Did I just use Lumos? Did I just use ah, Lumos? No one to share in my victory. Incendio. Whoa, Incendio is so cool right now. Revelio. What is this? Lumo's best damaging spell? <laughs> Dark Arts Battle Arena? What? Oh, this is the perk that I get for the... What do you call? This is the perk for having uh, the deluxe edition or something. Right? How do you activate it? 
Incendio. Wait, how do you... How do you activate this thing? Rebellion. Oh, I gotta break parts. My bad. I didn't know I gotta break all the parts. Revelio. Okay. Revelio. Okay. Wow. All right. So I'm guessing we can get some cool stuff in this. Uh, you wanna do Lele? No, not really. I'm kind of too into playing this right now. Okay, let's see. Fight waves or enemy in battle arena. Sure. Ooh. Okay, I gotta use this potion as well, right? Excellent. I'll try not to make this too uh, well, aren't you? What the hell? Holy shit, I can't use Ava Kodama! Jesus! Oh shit. Waves that I have. Did I just hex the guy? Shit, 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 shit. Are you sure you're Expulsion! 
Oh, come on! <laughs> so many waves! I'm so not ready for this! Okay, okay, okay. I was not ready for that at all. Oh, remix, remix. <laughs> Holy shit. That was ridiculous. Whoa, 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 bro. That wolf just came out of nowhere, man. Bro. Wait, how do you use... Maxima and Eudurus Potion together. I thought I already did. So... Oh, I cannot use it in the chamber area because it doesn't count. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. God damn, man. Dude, that is so cool. I've never thought about using the potion thing. Ah, sorry. That, that was really cool. That was really, really cool. Freaking love it. Okay, I want to use the potion. Rebellion. That is pretty cool. I feel like there's going to be like spiders around here or something. Rebellion. I know I just used the item, but apparently it doesn't it doesn't count when I use it in the arena right now. You know, it doesn't count in, as my quest, which is weird. You know. Mysterious oh, you died. Oh, that's why it Want didn't count. Do. That's weird. And reload to a checkpoint. Ah. I see. Okay. My young friend. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's see here. Where am I supposed to go? I feel like there's nothing else to do here. Collector's cave, you know, entrance of a witch tomb. It's a witch tomb, but there's nothing here. At least not yet. Okay, I want to go to the bandit area. Okay, I want to go to the bandit area. Revelio. Oops, wrong way. <gasps> the hell is that? Oh shit, those are spiders. Those are spiders, man. Revelio. I don't think that's the... Yeah. We haven't even reached there yet. It's the old lot of us, all falling prey to some delusion what seems to have gripped one of them. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, well, at least. Thankfully, the incendio helps a lot. That's all I gotta say. What's this? You can work potion, nice. Oh man, trap again. Revelio. There's a fishing area here. Oh, wait, there's a chest in here. Didn't see it. Yeah, nice. Okay, we are done with this one. Hey, that's another Merlin trial. Since we're here, might as well, right? Let's go. I wonder how far it is. Whoa. How far it is? Oh, it's not that far. It's not that far. There are some baddies over there. <coughs> Revelio. Where the hell did they go? Hey? You guys see that? Where'd they go? They just disappeared. That was so weird. Revelio. Where is that? Oh. Oh, there they are. That's weird. I know I'm not hearing things. Akio. It's oh, no. You've made a great mistake. Before we go there, there's a Revelio. Apparently some animals over there. Let's go check it out. What is this place? <gasps> it's a Niffler! Oh, this is so cute! Oh my god, it's a freaking Niffler! It's so cute! Come back, come back, come back! Aww, look at this place! It's full of gold coins, man! That is so cool. I wonder if you can like come back and then like I say, be invisible. I wonder if that make a need, uh, any difference though. Okay, so apparently there's some stuff on this side. There's a bandit camp that I can go check it out later. All right. First things first. Let me go get the Merlin trial thingy first. Oh. 
Revelio. Apparently there is a cave down here. All right. Oh, it's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, it's a pleasant surprise. Bully bandit. Get a Pokeball. <laughs> Okay, what does it say? Uh, what does it say? Like, what's it trying to do? Let me say. Nope. Can't. Nope. That didn't help. Uh, burn. Incendio. No. Expelliarmus. Flip it. Come back later. Oh no! I can't do it now? Damn it. Oh, there's another one over here too. No spell now. Uh. Yeah. Okay, wait, that's a cave here. Let's go check out the cave. Let's dive. That's why I need to stay in school. Where is, where is this place? Revelio. Oh my god, are you telling me that I cannot destroy this? Instantly. Oh my god, I need to get the puzzle for this thing. I need to get the puzzle for this thing. Ah, man. I want to kill the bandit camp though. But I feel I have to walk quite far. I feel I have to walk quite far since I'm here already. But then again, I am able to uh, fly a broom eventually, right? I will try my best to take down that camp first. All right. Let's see if I can get there. Okay. It's walkable. It's walkable. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Did they respawn? Let me go. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. What have you done? Let me also. Can I have some Oh my god. I forgot I had this spell. Okay, it's not a spell, but it's like a teleport thing. Jesus. I forgot I had that. Bro. Talk about fast travel now. Dude, that is like next level shit. What the heck is that? That's a flower. Oh, sorry. Flower? Butterfly. What the hell is that? It looks like Sonic Spin Dash. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's check it out. What's over here? What is that? Butterfly. Revelio. Hey, that's another... That's another Merlin thingy here. Where's the... Sometimes I do wonder if your eyes are still in... Accio! Incendio! Accio! Incendio! Explode! Rebellion! 
Okay, just by wanting to do a simple uh, thief bandit area, I keep getting distracted by doing other stuff. Like the side quest has a Rebellion. side quest, man. Ooh. Incendio. Don't mind I if I do. Investigate. I should indeed investigate. Dog get eaten away. <laughs> I swear there's spiders in this place. Your gear slot are full. No! No! Come on! I was so careful. Alright, I guess I gotta throw away some stuff. Hats? Okay, I gotta throw away some hats. I can throw away two things, I think. Throw away your wand. <laughs> oh shit, I haven't upgraded any of my weapons yet. Wait, 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 wait. Some glasses I can do better. There we go. Any better hats than this? Nope. Too much swag. Indeed. Okay, that's new robe. Whoa, what is this? Unidentified back item. Take this to the room of requirement to review its qualities. Can I wear it? No, I can't wear it. Okay. Ooh. Let's check out what's this one. Anything good here? No. Alright. It's a lock item. Keep it. Alright. Revelio. Okay, we are done with this area. Well done. Okay, we have another Merlin thingy to do. I wonder if I have the spells for it now. Hopefully. Let's check it out. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Merlin trial. What's the butterfly thing mean anyway? Oh, I gotta repair it. Ah ha ha. I like that because I have it. Repair him. Repair Butterfly to sight thing come back later. Alright. Evo knows best. How many other statues are there? There it is. Repairer. Did I not see it? Accium. What is that? Repairer. I myself will be proud. Hooray! Okay, so I was going to do the <laughs> the bandit camp thing, man. The bandit camp was the reason I was here in the first place. Okay, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Rebellion. And some chickens here. A bunch of people there. Where are the people? Wait, where are the people? Revelio. I'm guessing I need the pulse over this. Revelio. There is literally nothing here. I mean, I, I guess I gotta depulse all that. Why is there nobody in here? Unless I already took him down. Oh my god, I already finished the bandit camp. I already completed the bandit camp. Look at that, it's already completed. 
What the heck was that? Okay. Two treasure vault. Okay. The dog you yeeted. <laughs> Is that the bandit cat? <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, bro. We're done. We're done with this one. Alright. Uh, back to the quest. So, let's go get some... Let's go back to Hogwarts. Do I need to do anything in Hogsmeade? Follow the butter... <gasps> oh, follow the butterflies! Alright, we'll come back to this later. First things first, we learn the puzzle, okay? That one is like pretty important if you ask me. He... Professor Sharp is at Potion, so... Where is Potion? Potion is this one. Alright, let's go. Alrighty then. Whoa, what's with the graphics, man? Whoa. Why is that blur on the on the door? Door, are you okay? If I look away and I look at you, still blur. Rebellion. Weird. Alright, the puzzle time. Professor Sharp looks like Professor Snape. Look at all these students so happy. <laughs> How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn the Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Why is he teaching me the Pulso, though? I thought he's a uh, professor. Uh, sorry, potion master. Did you steal the feather? Did I? Yeah, I did. I stole the feather. Why? Let's go. The Pulso time. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and Accio. perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls, I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Enchanted books. So which one is Deposo? No, Deposo is... Is it a damaging skill? Oh, it's a force skill. Alright. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Mm. So it's a force spell. So it's like... Oh, I can... Oh, yes, finally. Let's get some potions, shall we? Only one? I need more. Force push. <laughs> Young Jedi. How many should I brew though? Can I queue up to like brew a few at the same at a time? Oh man, don't tell me I have to sit here and wait for this. <laughs> Maybe I can I, I can also uh, do for the other potions as well since I need them. Probably. Don't rush the cook. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh yeah, this one is important. Maxima is also important, right? I think. 30 seconds. Oh, I can let it do this and then just walk around. I guess. The pulse of Still at it, I see. Well, repetition is an excellent teacher. You're right. Getting Breaking Bad vibe here. You know, I never watched Breaking Bad before. Felix Felicius. Oh, I do have this. I don't have Flux Weed stem though. Hmm, weird. Enhance the drinker's chance of success in their endeavors, specifically by revealing the location of large loot chests on the minimap for one in game day. Oh. 
Okay. All right. Let's go then. All right. Are you guys ready for how? Uh, wait, for the broom stuff. So that's what we're gonna do now. I think we can do the broom, right? Or oh, you guys want to do this one first? Sorry, no. What's the other one? The hog's meat one. Should we do the butterfly one first? I hover... Or... In the three broomsticks, she mentioned something about swarm of butterflies. Conjuration spellcraft. This looks very interesting, actually. Okay, I want to do this one first because I'm I'm a sucker for a side quest before I do the main quest, you know. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. There's a thing. What's that thing? I'm not sure. Hello. Happy, Pardon happy me, single day. Are you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. I mean, sure. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh. Goodness, it's everything forbidden. from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Mr. Streamer can't uh, celebrate Singles Day. Oh, yeah, but I'm not celebrating Valentine's Day today because my girlfriend's working late. So, yeah, I, will, I already celebrated a few days ago. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. She's so sweet though, you know. Follow the butterflies. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden pole. Alright. I guess... Uh... We can try to do the butterfly one. Okay, world map, let's see. That's a butterfly over there. Let's go check it out. I wonder if it's a difficult quest though. What are you up to now? <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing I may have to be invisible to see the butterflies, right? I don't know. We'll see. Let's let's try. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. They are very pretty, though. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Go go go. <sighs> Follow them, follow them. I can't go any faster. There you go. I'm being invisible right now because I might get attacked by anything right now. Oh my god, the spiders. Yeah, I can attack when I'm... When I'm invisible. Oh, there's a chest. Well, well. 
Look what we have here. Oh, okay. Cool. This is another... Complete the tasks oh. I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the oh. severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. We have another spell. Okay, cool. We have another spell. Uh, okay. Acquire the invisibility potion, Thunder Brew, and use Thunder Brew potion against enemy. Okay. I guess I can really use it now because it makes no sense to use it during battle. Invisibility potion. You know? Yep. Well that was quick. That doesn't that doesn't help a lot. And then Thunder Brew. Create a storm around drinker which stun and damage nearby enemies. I see. Uh, let's use it on these fellas here. Are these... Holy shit, spiders. Okay, let's try out against spiders. Hello. Yes! Akira! Let me answer. Incendio! Oh, this Thunder Brew Storm thingy is really good. Like, freaking good, man. Holy crap. Rebellion. Oh, it's really good, actually. Are we done with this Incendio. one? Incendio. Incendio. Quick question. Does this spider thingy... It's just... It just says it's a lair. It doesn't say that you need to complete it, right? I guess you don't. Anyway. Back to Hogsmeade. You'll spawn more. Oh, so that's where you farm, basically. Cool. Cool. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello, lady. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? You get spider fangs. Oh, spider fangs, right. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? She's so cheerful. You know, folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. All right, cool. Okay. What's next? Uh, Quest-wise. So... Ah! All right. Defindo it is. Let's go. They were moths you liked. <laughs> okay, is the door gonna freak out again? No, it's not. Alright. Hello. Have professor. you finished your assignments? Of course. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Could have gone worse. <laughs> yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... 
I want to make sure you're well prepared. Aww. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying triangle. attention. Yeah. Alrighty. Mm. Very good. Oh, Defendo is a damaging skill. To practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Defendo. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Oh, Ooh, that is cool. Psycho cut. <laughs> The cooldown is so freaking long, Rebellion. though. Defendo. As I mentioned earlier, Jesus. Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. He has another quest for me, though. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm. Observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Sounds exciting. That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? Hmm, it was at that. While well, it lasted, at any rate. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. Oh, may I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. Uh, I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Interesting. But why is there still a quest on his head, though? You know? There's still a quest on his head, though. Like, do you see it? Oh, it's locked! I can't... Oh, it's locked, it's locked. Okay, I can't do anything about it right now. Yeah. Alright. It's been a long day, okay? Alright, let's go to flying class, finally. Probably wondering why it's taking so long, huh? Ooh, wow. Okay, so flying class, probably want to dress up a bit different for this one. Trying to sweep the yard. Okay, let's see here. Uh, do I have anything that I can equip that is better? Obviously, we're not doing for damage, so let's go for something a bit different, shall we? Uh, mermaid. <laughs> no. Have we done any of these before? I think we've done this one before. Flying class only for first year. No glasses? Perhaps? Oh, we can do this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one is for... Uh, I think it's this one. So many outfits though. It's our first time. <laughs> yeah, let's check out... Oh, this one is nice. This one is nice. This one really looks like I'm flying, uh, it's like meant for flying and stuff. 
Quidditch rope. Oh, it is a Quidditch rope. My god, what am I thinking? It's meant for Quidditch. Okay. Alright, so let's see what do we have for hats, hats, hats. I look at a cab driver like this, you know. Sleeping hat. There's so many weird hats though. Oh my god, I like this one. I like this one. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Tell me this is not a great and outfit. A historian's uniform. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody Ma grab a broom and we shall get started. Madam Kogawa. Oh, all right. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Show Everyone, off. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Uh. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Why is she teaching them like they are like they are year f one, but they're year five? Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up, up! You stupid ratty school broom. Dude, they're all year five. They can't even say up, bro. Up. Look at me. So easy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Whoa. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. So it seems like she's teaching us like well, year one. Now, for your first lesson, Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Okay, off the bat, I don't like this control because number one, this right hand, right, uh, right joystick goes up and down. This one goes forward and back and backwards. This is super weird. I, I don't know how I feel about this one though. Wish I had my own broom. <laughs> this is brilliant. I don't know, man. This feels very weird. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Can you change it? I'm not sure, though. Okay, advanced this exercise. Next set of rings. Who are you to go faster? For more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Jesus, Hello. look at it! Nice day for a flight! This is so awesome! Made it! Oh, you should really have a DLC for this. That. I'm not used oh, to the control the yet. Boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. This is so cool. This is so cool. I freaking love it. But the control is a bit weird, not gonna lie. Not used to it at all. Jesus. Man. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance. Oh my god, is that a Kraken? Is that a Kraken just now? Release the Kraken! Fly hit the ring ah, and fall. Good. I've got this. Ah! Oh, well done. Have a moment. Oh. I say. 
say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Hey. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? When we get in trouble, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Okay. Follow me. Sure. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Where are you going to go, though? Bro, where are you going? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? It's because his broom Here's is better. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Help you if you need to escape the tricky situation. L2 for burst of speed while in flight, forward flight. <laughs> now what? that's more like it. What? You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And Meowlery. Oh no, I, I, I misjudged it? it. I misjudged Flying it. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Cause a hippogriff, yeah. Oh, look, the Quidditch pitch. Uh oh. This is so cool. He has nitro. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Landing unavailable now. And where have you two been? Oh no. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Oh. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. I wonder where I can get my own broom, you know? Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. Cool. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right, nice. Yay, we finished the challenge. Nice. Okay, what's next? Revelio. Spintwitch is open in Hogsmeade. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hmm. Okay. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. A few coins? Sure, why Please not? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as Oh my soon god, as you can. so many. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. 
So many quests. Let's go. How nice to see you, my young friend. All right. So let's check it out first. So what do we have? Uh, probably find Sebastian as usual spot near defense against the Dark Arts class. All right. This one is uh, Miha 7th Floor. This one I can get Conjuring Spell Ivanesco Conjuration Spellcraft. Uh, what's this? Mm. Send me an owl regarding a delivery. I should speak with him. I can get appearance and go. Okay. Mm, excuse me. Go on a date with Sebastian. Is there any like um Oh I can learn Confringo Bro I can learn Confringo I think I want that I think I want that Okay there's a side quest first Wait I thought I already learned the Findo Wait 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 I thought I already learned the Findo what happened that doesn't make sense. I thought I already learned the Findo. Is that a bug? Is that a bug over there? I feel like it's a bug though. I already learned the Findo. That's weird. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna go hogs me first. I wanna settle the thing that he needs me to do. How to pay for date when broke? <laughs> you learn cycle cut. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Come on in. Hello. Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you need any? I want to buy some what stuff. What can I do for you today? You gotta give me some stuff, Professor. Focus potion. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh wait, let me sell some stuff first. Obviously. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. If only I can mass sell, right? See you again. Crack, 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 well crack. for now. I wanted to buy something. What can I do for you today? Ah, Wigan Well Potion. A wise decision. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I think I'm good. Always gotta I buy a lot of steamies, you know. Farewell for now. All right. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. She sounds annoying. <laughs> I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Then why is she ordering from you, though? Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> it was never one for adventure myself. All right, where are you? I knew I checked the name Fatima once in uni. Actually, in Malaysia, there's a lot of Fatimas. I'm just saying. Really, there's a lot. Okay. Holy crap, how... What the heck? This is not... This is really far, though.
All right, you know what? We're gonna make it. We're gonna make the trip. We're gonna make the trip. Okay. He says south of Hogwarts. I know. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Revelio. Still can't get anything because I don't have the unlock key thingy. All right, let's go. She was from Turkey. Lovely person. Miss her sometimes. Aww. Let's go deliver. Let's go. Where did you Where did you do your uni? Did you do your uni locally or did you go somewhere else? Revelio. What the heck's that? There's something below. Oh wait, there's something down here. Ooh, what the heck is this? Have I done this before? Rebellion. I feel like I've done this before. Yep, I think I've done this before. Akio. I think I've done this before. Yep, okay. Okay, I've done this before. No wonder it doesn't appear on the map. Move to another state to study. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, we're going which way? We're going this way? We are making one big round though. Can we just walk through this way? The game is so weird. Can we just walk through this way? It doesn't know how to tell me shortcuts though. It was fun, wish I did a little bit more but enjoyed my time. You know, I went to UK to study for a year as well. I didn't really enjoy myself there because I was too busy studying. Accio. Incendio. Yeah, man, this spider is... It just came out of nowhere, man. Okay, what does it say here? Keen Bridge. Alright, let's go. Going this way. Alright, there's some dudes here. Hooray, we level up. Alright, let's continue. Oh, I already done that one. That place was a bandit camp. Already settled that. Balancing study and fun is always hard. It was really difficult because when I was in UK, oh, I I only had like nine months to complete my degree, and when I did, I yeah, I basically just used every moment I have to studying, and then yeah, didn't really enjoy my time there. But it was Rebellion. worth it because in the end, you know, I got good grades for that. But, you know, people ask me, did you party or something like that in UK? Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately not. <gasps> Is he a nerd? Probably. I usually make time to explore. Actually, I would. But the thing is, you must understand, when I was in UK, I barely had any friends. What do you have in store for oh, me yeah. this time? No, I don't have enough mellow sweet. Bro. I don't have enough mellow sweet. Is there any like Oh, it's right here. 
Damn it! Okay, you know what? I will come Bruh. back. We'll come back to this. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for that. Oh my god, you guys. Ah, here it is. We found the place, guys. Look at my yellow outfit. Remix. <laughs> oh, there's stuff here. It's locked. No, you and your stupid Alohomora lock. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough looking place. Always late that Pippin. Calm yourself. I am here, okay? Revelio. Ah, here it is. The Tilted House. Local call it Tilted House due to odd angles which they wrap around the roots. Okay. Making friends is difficult. Can't imagine while being in the other country and things. Yes. Very difficult for me. Being an Asian and stuff, not going to lie, it's not easy to make friends with uh, the Westerners. Especially... No. Okay, I gotta say it because it's true, but... British people can be racist, man. Like, really racist, so... Should have been here yeah. by now. Lady, I will give you your potions, alright? You just gotta chill a little bit. Barkeep of the same stock ginger root. Okay, ginger. Interesting. Yay, this thing. Okay, I'm looking for the lady, a uh, person that sells the... I need to find a person that sells stuff. Revelio. So I can have things. There it is. What are these? Beehives? Wizarding world need honey for their tea as much as Mago the world does. Wow! So this is how they do their bee stuff. Pretty cool. Can I go in? Yes, nice. Rising over half the world, making enemies anywhere, <coughs> everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that person's over there. Oh wait, that person is the lady I'm talking to. Okay, now my. Rebellion. I need to aloha more of that shit. Okay. All right, let's talk to that lady. She can give me some sweets. Always late, that Pippin. Hello, Fatima. Madam Luang. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Oh, wow. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Then brew it yourself. My god. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. My god. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? <laughs> Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Credit rolls. <laughs> you guys really have a lot of ideas on how to make credit rolls in this game. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them. 
But certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Ah, uh, so... Okay. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Imagine. Her customers are trying to get invisibility, right, to stay away from bad guys. Imagine you go and destroy all the bad guys' camp, and then the customers doesn't need to buy anymore. She lose customers, and then she blame you. <laughs> what do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? I'm looking for the thingy where you can sprinkle stuff. Where is it? Ooh, you have Wigan Weld. Don't mind if I do. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. No, you wouldn't. She doesn't have the Wigan Well thingy. This oh. will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Wow, man, her accent is strong. It's very strong. Okay, wait. First things first, I want to see if I have any equipment that I can quit with. Probably not. What's this? What's new? Uh, sure, I guess. I feel like the one handle doesn't do anything at all, you know? Alright, so, first things first, actually no, this... I... can go here, but... Oh, there's a West Hogs Ward Valley. There's probably some stuff over there, but I just haven't gone there yet. Oh, there's a treasure vault here. Let's check out the treasure vault. My mother used to say I was lazy. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. I'm pretty sure that uh, I cannot get the treasure. Something tells me I can. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get out! 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 Something in the water, guys. I can Leviosa that shit, right? Can I keep doing this? Well, this is not fun. I'm hoping that he can use his tongue. Use thunder, no? <laughs> I'm gonna save it. Alright. Rebellion. Alright. Hey, what's up, Z Bloom? Nice to see you, man. Did you manage to refund your game? What the hell is that? Bro, what the hell is wrong with you? Can I get in? Whoa, whoa! What the hell? Bro, what the hell? What is happening? Bro, what's happening to me? What's happening to me? What is this bug? I'm swimming in the air! Hey bro, what was- What the heck? How did I get up here? Okay, I obviously cannot move anymore. Jesus, man. Uh, <laughs> let's try it again, okay? What the heck? I did, I want to play though. I know you want to play. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Do you huh. think that you might consider getting for the Switch? 
You have a switch, right? You can get it for the switch, perhaps. Please do not bug out again. That was super weird, man. I suddenly just teleport to the sky, you know? It's a, so long that, yeah, it's in July. Okay, let's see what's on this side. Why does this keep happening to me? How much is a PS5? Right now, if I'm not mistaken, if you go to uh, Toys or Toys or Game, TOG, right? If you go to TOG, they have a promotion going on right now where they are selling for $880 or $890 for one PlayStation console with two controllers. So normally what happens is that about $900, you get one, one console with one game. It's like the God of War bundle or FIFA bundle, right? But this one is like the plain one with two controllers, yeah? Okay, by the way, I cannot get to that thing. I'm swimming in the sky, man. What is this bug? <laughs> ah, okay, now my obviously it doesn't want me to complete the quest, so yeah, we will come back to here. I haven't seen a bug this bad Sometimes before. Me too. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Normally, I cannot replicate bugs, but this one was is super super weird. I can't believe I can replicate I it twice. Ha! I have no tolerance for Revelio. What happened? We've not took a thing. Hand them back. Incendio. Oh, it was only the one. Hand them back. Uh, that's all of them, sir. I shall burn you alive. I shall you cut you alive too. Really not. Incendio. It was just those ones, sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. Oh, you can clip it. Cool, cool, cool. I'm, I'm glad it's able to work already. Hello there. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Nope. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. The Very one. good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Uh, she's certainly difficult. It was no problem. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. I want money, though. <laughs> I want money! <laughs> Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? If it is, she doesn't deserve it back. <laughs> Why are some of the answers so mean? Uh, I want to see what it says. You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. <laughs> Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. <laughs> Damn! Okay. What can I do for you today? Uh, well, obviously, you know, I already lost my reputation with you, so, you know, there's nothing can be done. I hope to see you again. No, you Farewell don't. I'm a mean dude. What if I miss? Oh, I was talking shit to the potion guy. I seriously was talking shit to the potion guy. Just watched the last few clips. That was last few sen sentence. It was funny. Okay, let's see here. Um, Mr. Streamer is mean, apparently. Ah, uh, Confringo. I can do Confringo, though. Purchase a broom. I'm gonna purchase a broom. Because I can finally fly. Let's go fly. I was clipping. Oh. Thank you, man. Let's do some clipping. Hello. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U-weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. 
No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. I need a broom for cleaning. <laughs> you said disrupted trade routes caused you to close Spintwitches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. True. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Well, his passion is there, that's for sure. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Okay. Recommendation, please. What are we what looking for I get? today? All right, so what should we get? Ember dash broom. Um, perfect broom for those fiery temperament. Uh, broom in enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts pride. Okay, this is like a yellow half a puff broom. Moon trimmer. Finely craft from ash as this broom is built for stability. Wind with stylish broom with light touch quite literally. Okay. And there's a speedy broom with unique woven design. I actually like the speedy one. That item is of the highest quality. Oh. Oh. Whoa, this one looks really cool. The Amber Dash one looks really cool. That item is of the highest quality. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. This one has little pouches on the side. What the heck? Amber, good choice. That item is of the Please. highest quality. The Amber one is like RGB to us modern people, you know. This is their RGB, basically. Let's go. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I'm guessing you can buy a whole bunch Thanks of Thanks for stopping by. Oh, just whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Yeah. Go on. Go <laughs> on. <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. Ooh, okay. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? All right. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Can you be my guinea pig? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. 
And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. All right, cool. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Revelio. Is there a way to unidentified hand ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Ah, there it is. I was waiting for this. No bad habits remember the cat incident. <laughs> Dude, you don't have to always remind me of that. Okay, let's see here. So, I have a whole bunch of quests. Uh, let's do the flight test one first, okay? Because obviously we gotta see how good my flying is. Oh wait, no. World map? How do I get there? I have to walk all the way? No, can't be. There must be a faster way, right? Uh, oh well. Seems like there's no faster way though. Fly! <laughs> oh! I have a broom now! <laughs> Handy resource indeed. I have a freaking broom I now! Wait. Yes, I can have... There we go! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was thinking how the hell am I gonna walk all the way there? <laughs> okay, while we're here... I wanna go to that uh, portal thingy. I know that was right here somewhere. It's up, up here somewhere. I saw it just now. Am I going the right way? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Oh. Revelio. What animal is here? Wait. What animal is supposed to be here? You can do Revelio on the broom. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh, it's a moon calf then! Where's the moon calf? It's supposed to come out at night, right? I mean, it's moon calf, so obviously it's night time. Off on another adventure, are we? I feel like I want to wait for the moon calf to come out. It's night time, so... Maybe I need to be invisible. Where is the moon calf? Oh, it's morning. Early morning. I don't even know what time is it right now. Oh well. No worries. Let's go. So not used to the broom. Oh my god, look at this Quidditch pitch. Jesus, man. Hey you, Hufflepuff. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Wow. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Well, oh, she... I can understand why she's a Slytherin now. You sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Of Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. Bumbling For some baboons. reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Wow. Perhaps I am competition. Yes, I am. Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Wow, the Enough sass. Of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I so hold much one of sass. the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. 
Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humour you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Hey, hey. The name is Bob, okay? Bob the Wizard. You better remember it, okay? Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Probably we'll lose on the first run. <laughs> and then she's just gonna like make fun of me. Let's go! This is rather fun. Brilliant. Uh this will take some oh, shit. used to. Okay, wait. Can I restart? Can I get Can I restart again? I I cannot control this bro. I cannot control my my camera. What the heck? Easy now, easy now, easy now. Jesus. Jesus. This is rather fun. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, that was. I cannot get used to it. It was super weird. I wish the controls are not like that at all. Like, what the heck, man? Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine, you won. Yeah. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <sighs> I don't want your respect. I feel like with her, I want to be very mean because she's mean to me, okay? So, there's no way I'm going to be the, the, the nice Hufflepuff. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. Precisely. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Uh. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll so, see next straight. time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. All right, return to the podium to challenge other there races. Advance way through one's the ranks. To beat. Wait, let's see. Oh my God! I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Bob the Wizard is number three, so I have to be number one. Wait, 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 wait. Is that correct? I have to be number one. If what if I'm not number one? Or, if I am number one, do I get something else? Hm, weird. Okay. Let's burn. Incendio! Yeah. You're Asian, not beige. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that.
She's number 4 due to you. And she said that she was the best. Apparently not. Liar, you know? What a liar. She said that she was number 1. So she's full of herself and she's a liar. Looks meet, here I come. All right, dude. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Uh-huh. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. I and where nap. would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? All right, nice. Oh, cool. We we completed some some stuff already. So let's do that. We have completed some stuff. Let's go collect it. Not yet. Ah, yes. All right. So many spiders collected. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. Oh, new outfit. Nice. Exploration. Anything here? I don't think some of this outfit actually looks that good, but we will try anyway. Okay, we are done with this one. Now let's move on to the next quest. Uh, who wants to learn uh, Confringo? Because I do. Let's go learn Confringo, shall we? Confringo. Okay, defense against the dark arts basically. said that travel broadens the mind. Hello Sebastian. Okay, let's change outfits, shall we? We gotta always keep keep it fresh, you know. Do I have a new glove? No, I don't have. Today we will look ridiculous, shall we? I want this one. Oh wait, wait, no, 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 I want to be Bane. I want to be Bane today. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Keeping it fresh. Okay, obviously not this one. <laughs> uh, 
This is such a weird outfit, man. Like, it doesn't suit him at all. What the heck is this? This is such a weird outfit, man. I like this one. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, this is for this. Okay, 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 okay. We, we, we have an armor. We have armor, suit, and stuff. Uh, where's the armor one? Oh, this one is interesting. Green. I look like a pilot here, you know? I look like I'm about to pilot something. This is such a weird outfit. I like it. Oh, I don't have the armor yet. Damn, I don't have the armor yet. Alright, if I don't have the armor yet, then we're going to stick with uh, something ridiculous. Okay, this would do. I like this. And then, outfit-wise... Ooh, this one is interesting. Okay. You gotta keep it fresh, yo. Look good for your... <laughs> He's wearing a helmet. <laughs> I was sleeping okay. on the floor. I was sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Enter the secret room. He said that he was able to get out of trouble, There's right? There's a secret passage I wonder just what here. He did, you know. It's well disguised. You gotta kiss the homies a good night kiss. Ooh. Alohomora. Apparently it's not Alohomora. Wait, why am I going in by myself? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Revelio, he named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With Ooh. my sister. Ooh, so many chests. And she loved that infernal game. She loved gobstones. I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard her. So please, keep this between us. No worries. He I'm never like... confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We you used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Imagine, like, you know, trusting me and then I just blab it because, Rebellion. you know, who cares, right? I think I've seen ominous in potions. Oh, loot. <laughs> was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Ooh. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. 
It does sound dangerous. That's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. Mm -hmm. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. It's Confringo, not Confringo. <laughs> nice. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? So Confringo is this one here. Stick to the targets though. Best to keep Rebellion. the other intact. Where's the have target? Have those candelabras. Candel Both have their uses. Oh. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Remember that, uh, that Merlin quest thing? This is what we need! Fire Blast! Thank you! Let's go! Oh, you said that this place is sacred to you? Take that! And that! I'm going to burn this place down! Watch me! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I am the worst person to bring to your secret Bruh. place, man. Incendio. And the guy said that, oh, you cannot handle Confringo. Please look at my Incendio, bro. Okay, okay, okay. I'll just play along. Confringo. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Nice. Nice. Thank you for this spell. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready for more spell like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. All right. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth, I'm not ready to tell you everything. I'll tell him everything, you know? The, the dude is like pouring his heart out, you know? And I literally just vandalized his entire hideout. <laughs> you must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. 
and this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I'm going to burn out the. I'm going to burn out the whole when place I head at to this Feldcroft, point. I'll send you an owl. At this point, I'm going to burn out his entire hiding spot. <laughs> I like how the door is like automated, like you know. Uh oh. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? Uh, I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did blinded. you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? What'd I do? What'd I do? I forgot. During that entire conversation, did Sebastian say that he was gonna tell Ominous about this? Sebastian and I weren't doing anything. <laughs> Imagine if I was, if I had a girl character, man, it would be like super weird, you know. And also, very underage kids, you know. Stumble upon it. I, I want to, I don't want to get Sebastian in trouble, you know. You said he said don't tell him. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. Ooh. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Yeah, why do you have such a Malfoy vibe, you know? My father will hear about this, you know? No need for threats. Do I want to be nice of me? I promise not to say anything. I mean, you know, I'm looking for the bathroom. Yeah, I like that one more. <laughs> no need for threats. I want to go for no need for threats, okay? All right, all right, here we go. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant! Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Yeah, man, you Sebastian don't have to... is going to get an earful about this. Not unless I kill you first. Bodega. Oh wait, sorry. Confringo. Man, he just went through you! Incendio! No, he disappeared! Ominous sounds ominous. I, I know. Okay, we are done with that particular quest. Uh, let's see here. This one, we have five more uh, keys around the, the this thing. Uh, Ghost of Bridge. Am I missing something though? I feel like I can complete one of my... This one here. Ah, this one. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Let's go. I want to finish that one. Because the Merlin questing is something that I really like the Handy resource indeed. Your the, field guide. Do you call it? I'm most pleased to be included. I like the mini game thing, you know? <gasps> you kill first potato. Oh, what's that? Akio. Incendio. Levioso. Confringo. Akio. Incendio! Alrighty then. Spider Rebellion. Fang! I think I needed Spider Fang, right? Everyone needs Spider Fang. Wait. Hold on. I never collected that, that money pouch before? Uh. What the heck? That was super weird. Rebellion. I was wondering how 
how people who have fear of spider are handling the game. Honestly, I I don't know. Like, seriously. It's like the same thing as our Star Wars, the Fallen Order, right? The spider was so big. I swear if people have like spider fears and stuff, this game is not for them at all, man. Not even one bit. Okay, I gotta climb up this thing first. Alright. Okay, so... I can aim here. Let's see I can stand at one place and see everything. Okay, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. Okay, here we go. What's that? So ta -da! Oh yeah, bright lights as well. This thing has a lot of flashy lights, you yeah. know. Hooray! Revelio. Hooray! What is that? Oh, eggs. I do like eggs. Okay, let's see here. This one is... I need to get more mellow sweet. That's what I need. Where can I go to get Mellow Sweets? Mellow Sweets. I can, I can get it from here, right? There's a dude that sells stuff. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Am I going the right way? Yes, I think so. Revelio. Hello. Hello. Be with you in a bit. All right. Let's see. Ah, yes. This is what I need. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Thank you for that. Fertilizer. Oh. Oh, I I guess I need some of these eventually, right? But not now. I still need my. No one can say I don't keep a stack money. shelf. Money. Okay. Let's finish one more quest and then we'll call it a day, okay? This one is at where? Room of requirement? How do I get there? What's galleon? Isn't galleon money? Like a coin one galleon is one dollar for them? Meet Professor Weasley. Ooh. I like my outfit. I like my outfit so much. So freaking weird. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Our first ever rumor requirement entrance. Ooh, wow, look at the animation of that. That's really cool. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Um, you're a little bit old for me, Professor, though. You know, I, I like my girls around my age. She's, she's a gilf, you know. <laughs> what is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. Ooh. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Revelio. You know what I just realized? 
this room eventually get burned to death by Harry Potter, you know? Actually, it's not Harry Potter's fault. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Learn this new presents spell? the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, Evanesco. the vanishing spell. Nice. You nice. can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Swish and flick. Vanesco. It's like fire hazard, more small alarm or sprinkles. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. I need new profiles. <laughs> I feel like ah, I definitely need more new profiles. Okay, this is a transfiguration. Ah. Excellent work. <gasps> You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. <laughs> Evan, get that shit out of here. <laughs> Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Just tap three times and call Dobby, you know? Revelio. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. A, I waited for you for ages. Perhaps you were assigned for a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want me to try and meet again. Sincerely, T. So A is obviously A as something. And T is something that woman has. Right? Okay, never mind. Let's go! Revelio. <gasps> Dear Ooh. me. Jesus. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Jesus Christ, lady. You just scared me, man. Spin the globe. Dude, I love the animation for that, man. What the heck was that? It's so cool. Revelio. Revelio. Can I open this? Oh, no. I need to... Pull it I can climb. Revelio. And slide down as well. What's that? Akio. Oh wait, I can climb here, right? How do you get to that point? That is quite high up. Revelio. How do you get to that? To bring the box? I was hoping that I didn't have to do that. Akio. Doesn't work. Levioso. Nope. Levioso. Oh, wait. Akio. Levioso. Oh, I can knock it down. I can knock it down, right? Can I knock it down? It, it's almost falling. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. I can use Leviosa on the box? Leviosa. Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse me? What? What? I didn't know I could do that. Revelio. What is this magic? That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. How the hell do you even figure that out? I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Revelio. An intruder! Stop them! What? 
An intruder. No, not uh, not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Revelio. There's something on that side though. How do I get there? Bit offended that the rune thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. The armor just died, yeah, he did. Ooh! Anyone fancy to use the toilet? Remember to flush! Always flush, guys. Oh, this looks nice. It's like Chinese New Year. Revelio! <laughs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? This is interesting. Okay, I think there's more stuff on this side. What was that? <gasps> there's a key. Wow! Was that a golden snitch? What? There's a golden snitch here. Oh, cool. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Revelio. Wait, wait, wait. It's either I... Okay, I have to get through here because... Here. Revelio. Anything here? Akio! Um... Oh, right, 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 right. I'm going to use the same technique that uh, you taught me, so... Leviosa. Oh, shit. Jump! Jump across! Jump across! No, that didn't work! What the heck? Didn't work! Okay, what? Oh, oh. I was able to get too close. Oh, there it is. Nice. Is that all? But there's like a snitch there, though. The golden snitch. Am I supposed to get near it? Am I supposed to, like, go get near it or something? Or even get into that area? Oh, it's still inside there. Never mind. At least I got the chest already, so that's fine. Let's go. I'm not sure if I am supposed to go near the snitch, though. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. I need to get that chest again. Come here, you. Because there's money over there. Akio. Follow me. Where is it? What the heck? Revelio. What the heck? Oh, I can't bring the chest closer. So how do I get that? Akio. Revelio. How do I get that then? Can I jump up here? Hmm. Seems like I cannot get up there. Oh! You can't! <laughs> ah, 
I'm learning so many new things in here? this place, man. What the heck? I didn't know you could do that. What the hell? Oh, look, Dobby's here. Hello, Dobby. Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. I know it's not Dobby. Oh, I Deke. know. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. Wow. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. You know, there's a now, place called library, it's right? It's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. <laughs> oh no! Can you imagine if you, you think about what you really want? And then the room gives you exactly what you really want. <laughs> Turns into a strip club again, exactly! <laughs> I was thinking that was the case. given yourself quite a canvas to work with this is nice i look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify Headwick. unfamiliar items of clothing one should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed he was doing the T-pose and glitching out. You have unlocked desk or description. Use it to review magical properties or any identified gear that you've collected. Okay. Okay. So I collected a couple. So let's see what they have. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Wait. Nothing to identify. For now, at least. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Cool. Conjuring spells. Leviosa. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. 
They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. Oh. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station <laughs> Orders and for Amazon. table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. All right. Conjuring. Okay, how do I conjure? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, this is conjure, right? All right. So, let's see. We can conjure... Uh... Potion. Ooh, wow. Okay, guys, which one? Oh, my head is blocking the way. My bad. We shall put this here. Temporarily just leave it there first so you guys can see this, okay? So, do I go move your head? Can I see a preview or something without actually clicking on it? Object not inside playable space. Oh, look at that, look at that. Ooh, the yellow one's interesting. It's like Hufflepuff stuff. This blue one's a bit weird. Like, not really a fan, fan of it. Yellow's a bit small. The green one is... I guess it's very, very house-related though. This is like half uh, Gryffindor-ish. This is definitely very uh, Slytherin. Okay. Okay, I'll stick with this one. How do you? There we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can make a mount. You can make a few. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. Let's try another one. Time to grow plants. Okay, we're gonna make a theme, right? Everything's gonna be like yellowish and stuff. How do you rotate this thing? Ah, alright, so we're gonna put this side by side. There we go. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Ooh. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. How come no one gave Deke a sock so that he can be free, you know? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. Ooh. We've charms in place to enforce that. Wow. Okay. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Like what? Is there another spell that you're going to teach me? Master has to give him a suck. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay. What, what do I need? Wait, how many do I need? I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? 
<laughs> you collected a lot, I know, right? Okay, let's see here. Wait, wait, someone's talking to me on... Okay, to find Professor Fig. <gasps> Wingardium Leviosa! Okay. Is there any more? Oh man, okay. Alright, let's see here. Wall hangings. Okay, let's see. I wanna have a s mirror. I need a big ass mirror, okay? Yeah, just right here. Is that all I need? No. I mean that. Oh, I need five things. Okay, I need five things. All right. Paintings, paintings. Let's see here. Then that's a big ass painting. What do we have here? Two lovely gentlemen. You can adjust the size. Shut up. Are you serious? I can adjust a very big size painting. Oh my god, this painting is huge. Can I, cut, can I put it on the floor? No! <laughs> this is a huge painting! This is like... Okay, I don't scare myself, but... Damn, is that Dobby's family? Okay, I'll put this lady here. Damn, that's a big ass painting, man. We'll make super small paintings here, okay? We'll put one here. Oh, okay. Conjuring floor decoration next. I'm going to take my time on this later on, but I think for the time being, let's uh, do what we can. Stuff toy dra- Oh my god, please make it very big. Can I make it any bigger? No, this is the biggest I can go. I like this one. How do you how do you Oh you can change color? Oh that is so cute. Okay, I wanna rotate it. There we go. Jesus man, I like this game already. Quagsire plushie, I know right. Ah yes, I need a big ass mat. All right. Obviously, it has to be a very, very big ass mat. <laughs> I'm gonna have two of them. Wait, how do you rotate this thing? Ah, oh, there we go. There's another one. Wait, wait. I gotta put sofa somewhere. My whole room is just like yellow and stuff. Okay. Like a king, alright? Like a king. No, that's not where I wanna put it. Am I? Need two seats. Good work. Shall we move on? No. I'm not done yet. I want a table too. I want a big ass table. <laughs> oh no, I cannot fit it. Oh my god. 
okay, okay. I've conjured everything I can. What's <gasps> next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Come with Let's for get something. started, shall we? <laughs> Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay, altering spell is probably what I need as well. Ah, perfect. Just aim your wand item and perform the altering spell to it. Oh, change the color. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Okay, how do you change color though? Uh, oh, change color. Yes, yes, yes. Your yeah, white is good. Alter the style of an item. Is that another style? Oh, right, 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 right. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can change the form. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Oh my god, are you serious? Alter the balcony or the floor of the room. Oh my god, new designs! Jesus Christ! I like this one a lot. Your space might be fit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I feel I'm going to spend a lot of time doing this. So focus on a room that is dark and mysterious, natural and earthy, cool moonlit ambience. I think I like... I like this one. I like the first I one. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Let's see. Whoa, this is like so dark. Oh my god, is there a way to change it? I want to change, I want to change it to something else. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Yay! Well done, everybody. We have completed this section. I like how the books are literally birds, you know? Very cool. What the hell? What's happening? What's going on? An even bigger space. What? How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Oh my god, just Good. when I thought that I I'll got leave you to not it. enough space This anymore. is your space now. Use it wisely. Dude, got much bigger space now. What the heck? Okay, so in terms of main quest wise, yep, the next stuff is talking to Professor Fig already. Okay, we have lots to do in the next stream, but yeah, thank you so much for joining this one. 
I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs> See you guys. Bye-bye. Oh my god, thank you for the bits. Bro, you don't have to send bits, alright. Refrain yourself, alright? Or else I'll send Deke towards your house. And de deconstruct your, your bed or something. I don't know. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs>